Hello everyone, for this video is I'm going to show you how to do the parallel running of diesel generators. Parallel running or synchronizing of diesel generators on board ship is very necessary because it gives a greater output which will supply the demand of electrical consumption on board vessels. So on this scenario is that we have already one generator which is the DG1 which is already connected to the main bus bar. So what we are going to do is we will going to run the diesel generator number two and connect it as well to the main bus bar. So DG1 and DG2 must be a parallel operation. So to do that is we need to synchronize and for this video is I'm going to show you how to do the manual synchronization. So to start the operation we need to press shift F1. You will have 30 minutes to fulfill the assessment. We only have 30 minutes. And first is I'm going to click 076 which will redirect to the diesel generator number two i'm going to check the fuel line lube oil sea water and as well as the cooling so as of now it's already in uh, lined up and what i'm going to do next is to press local for the engine control and start the diesel generator number two So now it's running. I'm going to put it in remote. It's already in remote. I'll go back here in the electric power plant and as what you can see the voltage controller is already on. So we are going for the synchronize. Click panel directory and Go here the main switchboard of diesel generator number two. Press this one, this one, so that we can see how much is the voltage and the current. And as what I can see, the voltage is very low, so it means there is a problem. Yeah, supposedly we need around 440 volts. So I'm going to unclick this, and I'm I'm going to switch off the diesel generator number two so that we can rectify so i'll put it back to local and going to press stop so now it's already on stop going to go back on the electrical power plant and make sure that the, that the voltage controller is off and you can see here letter M on the first this one so this is the malfunction phage of electrical power plant click this one and press the down button so that you can see the DG2 voltage controller failure so if you see this one m7030 digital voltage controller failure press reset then afterwards close now we have already reset the malfunction so we need to go back to the diesel generator number two press this one and we're going to start again So now the diesel generator number two is already running. I'll put it in remote and I need to go back to the electrical power plant and I'm going to press the voltage controller on. Okay. And press panel directory. Go here. Main switchboard diesel generator number two. And let's click again. If it's already okay. So 
as what you can see now it's already repaired rectified it's now showing 440 06 so next is I'm going to press the synchroscope so here on the synchroscope you can see here a synchroscope switch so direct it to diesel generator number two okay and as what you can see only the voltage is on green light and the frequency is still dim so we need to make this one a bright also so in order to do that is we need to decrease the governor which will make the frequency lesser so I'm going to decrease okay so as what you can see now the frequency it's already uh, in green light so once that the synchroscope it's is already on 11 o'clock then we are going to press the connect button okay so the synchroscope is already at 12 o'clock which means that our generator is already synchronized so there is an alarm just acknowledge and after using the synchroscope you need to switch it back to off press exit so you can click also this one because we are already finished here and go back to the electrical power plant and here you can now see that our diesel generator number one and diesel generator number two is already in parallel condition so that's it we are for the remaining time we are just going to uh, wait and uh, make sure that the parameters are okay and by the way to is uh, to exit the simulator you need to press function f3 or shall i say fn f3 so that's it for today and i hope this video helped you bye bye ciao